Rose, it's Wednesday. Why is it Wednesday? And today we will be answering the question, why does the shower curtain move towards you while you're showering? I've actually heard this question many different times and heard a lot of different answers. Everything from the shower curtain being heavier from being wet to some kind of air vortex caused by the water jets that move the curtain around. I don't know. None of those are right. It's actually very simple. You see your shower curtain is just really into you and when it sees your naked body all hot and steamy it can't help but reach out and try to give you a hug and there you go that is science no i'm just playing i got you all intertextile sexuality aside this phenomenon actually has to do with air temperature and air pressure a little less theatrical than anthropomorphic shower curtains falling in love with you but you know, the facts are the facts. So here's the deal, when you're taking a shower, the warm water actually heats up the air inside the shower with you, and as you probably know, hot air rises. This has to do with Boyle's Law of Gases. When a gas is warmer, each molecule actually has more energy and is zipping around faster and bumping into each other more often. This means that when a gas gets warmer, it actually spreads out and expands, giving each of those molecules more room to move around, and in the process becomes less dense. Less dense things float on top of more dense things. You probably know that. So, cool, denser air sinks to the bottom and warm, less dense air floats on top. Wee 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 wee. So, what's happening in the shower? Well, the air on the inside of the shower with you becomes warmer and less dense than the air on the outside of the shower. This warmer, less dense air rises up towards the ceiling and since it has nowhere else to go, actually leaves the shower through that gap between the ceiling and the top of the shower curtain. But now that air is leaving the shower, new air needs to come in to replace the air that left to balance out the air pressure. So, cooler bathroom air near the ground tries to come into the shower over the edge of the bathtub to replace the warm air that left near the ceiling, but something is in the way. That pesky shower curtain. So there you go. The cool air trying to get into the shower to replace the warm air that left can't get in because the shower curtain's in the way. So it ends up just pushing the entire shower curtain into the shower with you where it sticks to your naked body and makes you feel all... <laughs> there are two ways we can test this theory. First, if you run the shower with only cold water, you'll find that the shower curtain doesn't move since the water is no longer heating up air and creating this air movement cycle. Another test would be if you had a shower curtain that actually went all the way to the ceiling. I don't think they make them that tall, but if you had one, then the warm air inside the shower wouldn't be able to leave in the first place, and so no new cool air would try to come in and push the shower curtain on you. Okay, so now that you know why the shower curtain tries to attack you when you're naked, what can you do about it? Simple. If you leave a little gap open on the side of the shower curtain while you shower, this will give that cool air a way to vent into the shower so it won't push the shower curtain anymore. You're welcome, and Rose, we will see you on Friday.